Hi guys, so today I have an unboxing of a Zen Market package. So I've been into J-pop again. Um, about two or three years ago I was super into J-pop and kind of was only collecting J-pop at one point. Kind of put K-pop on the back burner. And then in 2016 I kind of took a hiatus from collecting J-pop and I've missed a lot of releases since then, but thankfully for the groups that I used to collect, there hasn't been much, many things that have cards or collectibles associated with them. I'm mostly missing um, merch, which will be a little hard to get, but um, the Rampage debuted during my hiatus, hiatus and I have been following them since 2015. Um, been following them even though I was not collecting J-pop, but they have jacket cards. And I'm simply trying to collect all 16 members, but right now I'm only buying um, my top four. Since their card, the, the, the Rampage cards are pretty expensive on Yahoo auctions and stuff like that. So that's mostly what's in here is J-pop with a few twice things. The setup is pretty awkward, so I apologize if every time I lean forward, um, it gets really loud. So I hadn't opened the box yet, as you can see I just took off the stuff. And there's not much in this box. Like it was I mostly bought cards. Um I did not buy any albums, although I think that maybe one of my rampage jacket cards came with an album. You know, Zen Market's doing this thing now that once they receive something, they put the weight of it next to it. And all of my well that's actually decently packaged. Like, it's like, yay! All of my cards were, like, I think, six grams, nine grams, and then I got one that was like 20 some grams. I was like, oh, um, unless they used like heavy duty packaging on it, they probably included a CD. So we'll see, which would be nice because I don't own any of the Rampage CDs, like, at all, because, like I said, I was during a hiatus when they debuted, so I'm behind, and the Rampage has slowly become my one of my ultimate groups, not gonna lie. Um, I've been going through a shitty time lately, and just all their random videos and their constant <laughs> releases <laughs> have been keeping me somewhat sane. I saw the jacket cards were near. <laughs> Also, there are a few big things that I did not know were big things until after I had purchased them. And I'm now I'm just hoping that they fit in my binder somehow. That they're not too big. I just, I didn't know what they were. I saw them and I was like, I don't know what this is, but I'm getting it. And then after I bought it, <laughs> I realized they were like the... I think they're called pencil boards in Japan. Shiny had some of those for one of their tours, I think. Anyways, that's what they are. When I saw a picture of the card with a CD next to it, and I was like, oh boys, that is quite big. Okay, so I guess I'll start with this. So, this is what I was talking about. Like, I did not know these were this big. Like, I, I, yeah, I think that'll fit in my binder. In just a normal one pocket sleeve, I think that'll fit. I've got Allen's. These are for the Joyride single. And I also got, oh shit, they taped the other one to the cardboard. They're from the same, no, they're not from the same seller. Never mind, they're not. I was, I, I bought my top two, and then I was gonna go back and buy, cause I collect five members in Exile. I was gonna go, buy, go back and buy the rest. And I was like, I'm gonna wait, and then I saw how big they were, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm so glad I did not buy the rest. Oh dear. I wonder, yeah, I think these were Exile Mobile. These are flimsier than I thought they'd be. Like, anyways, I got Akira's as well. I found Akira's first and I was like, what is this? 
whatever it is I need to get it. So yeah, so I hope these fit in my binder. Okay, and then finally some e-girl stuff was listed that I needed. Um, I collect my top nine in e-girls and now that e-girls is only 11 members, um, I have a top three. <laughs> so that's not too too bad. Um, and my ultimate bias in e-girls is Chiharu, because she's no longer in e-girls, but she still has quite a few cards. Um, this card is her 1-2-3 photo, which is just a, a photo. So they, this one seller had a lot of um, old e-girls and flower stuff listed for pretty cheap. Like, uh, I grabbed a few uh, Chihadu things and I should have grabbed the Kyoka things they had, but they probably still have them. Unfortunately, this is- oh, I hate Saran Wrap. Okay, so I've got a bunch of Jihyo cards. I think I'm gonna go through the Jihyo cards first. Okay. So I've got a bunch of Jihyo cards. I literally just like bought individual ones just because, like, fuck it. <laughs> oh, I love the backs of these. Oh, boys. So I got this one. The backs are all the same. I think a lot of the individual ones came from the same seller, I think. I'm low on sleeves, so <laughs> I also got this one. And the glitter border. I wish it was actual, like, literally glittery. I wish it was, that would be so cool. Backs are the same again. Oh my god, I don't want to take them out. I got this one. And I got the message card, but it didn't come with the thing. So. I will eventually buy an album anyways. So. And then I got... I got this one. And I also grabbed her pre-order cards in a set. Just because, holy crap. Okay, so like... The pre-order cards for this are amazing. I love, 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 love the pre-order cards for these. Like, so much. I don't know what version is what, but there's- Oh my god, there's the back on this one. Oh my goodness. This one. And that one. God, I love these. They're so nice. I love her pre-order photo cards. Like, I think I didn't even see her normal photo photo cards. I saw the pre-order cards first and I went, <gasps> okay. okay, now for some more J-pop things. I think that, that was the only K-pop things that I have. Um, so I got a Miu set, but I only needed three things from it. I needed her anniversary music card. Because these music cards are extremely expensive for some, for some reason. It's also the last music cards that e-girls made. Although they have a new set coming out tomorrow? Tomorrow. The day after. I don't know. The 8th. <laughs> so yeah. And her Mr. Snowman music card, which I already had. And this is another one that I needed. Her Go Go Let's Go. So this was not the last card I needed for Miu in E-Girls because I'm still missing her never-ending story and her follow me but those are rare cards. This is the n only new card that I was missing. A uh, pink champagne I already have. Uh, Kumanasai no kissing you I already have. Uh, 
kudu kudu I already have. And Mr. Snowman I already have. And then Candy Smile I already have. But I was needing her sexy, young, beautiful uh, card for happiness. So that was what I needed. So I, I needed three things from this set. But the set itself, without fees and stuff, was 400 yen. So getting three cards for 400 yen, yeah, that's a steal. Okay. Oh, I guess I was wrong. There's one more Jihyo thing. What's this card? Uh, this one, too. Oh, boys. I'm running low on sleeves and I don't want to buy any online. <laughs> okay. This has to be another menu card. Because the rest I bought are jacket cards, so. For happiness lately, they've been, well, not lately, but for a while they did Polaroids. And you couldn't get them on the mobile shop, the mobile, mobile shop, yeah. You can get them on there. So I had no idea where they came from. So they were kind of hard to get. I got the, I got Muse Juicy Love for pretty easy, but Seek a Light was extremely hard to get for some reason. And uh, Sexy Young and Beautiful, I've never actually seen any pop up that much. But, but I found Muse. One of me, because Seek Light has two versions. I found one of me who's listed for a little bit more than I wanted to pay for it. But if that means I can get one, at least one of her Seek Light Polaroids, then I'm all for it. I forgot how flimsy these were. Okay, so now we get to the bulk of the things. Ma. Jacket cards. <laughs> Most of this is Rampage. But, oh, I've got one flower one and it's right there. I got Chiharu's Taiyo to Himawari jacket card. So I still have a few flower things left to get for Chiharu, but not that many. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there for Chiharu. I guess this is probably Yamashu because it's thicker. Anyways, I was only collecting Yamashu. I was right. <laughs> That's why it weighed so much. I was only because Yamashu is my favorite in the Rampage, and then my second favorite is Kaize, and then my third favorite is Shogo, and then my fourth favorite is Kazuma. So I got Yamashu's 100 Degrees <sighs> Decade Card. This is my favorite release for the Rampage so far. Just everything about it, I absolutely adore. Okay, and then I've got a bunch more over here. Uh, I'm gonna do all the Yamashu ones first. Uh, Here's another one. Uh, they're totally not in order. 100 Degrees was the fourth single. So yeah. And they're coming out with a full length album next month. And if I want to buy the 2 DVD, 2 Blu-ray version, it's gonna cost me 100 bucks. Like, will I do it to be able to watch the Rampage concert on my TV? Fuck yeah. I would've bought the DVD. But I feel like having the Blu-ray would be much better. <coughs> this is Yamashou's Lightning. Check a card. This was their first single, their debut single. And I feel like, if you know me, I am Lightning. Lightning is lame, because I am lame. And their debut single was called Lightning. I feel like you were meant to be me in the Rampage forever. Okay. I should have one more in here. Yep, there it is. They did something really good when it came to Fandango. Like, this is his Fandango jacket card. I paid so much for this, but it's so worth it because tiny baby Yamasho in glasses and his short hair. He looks so cute. So, so, so cute. There's like a making of this video and like, he is this tiny. <laughs> He's so tiny. He's one of the oldest, but he's one of the shortest. 
Okay, and then I'll go for Kaize because Kaize is my second. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Kaize is a giant, and he's one of the youngest. Kaize is lightning jacket card. This look on Kaize is horrible. It's literally a long ass fucking leather trench coat. Oh my goodness. Okay, another one more Kaize. The uh, Kaize is 100 degrees. This... I don't like this hairstyle on him, but it somewhat suits him. I'm glad he has a shirt on <laughs> for his jacket cards because he spends like half of the music video with no shirt on. And he's a teeny tiny baby, so he always needs to have a shirt on. For the hard hit promotions, he had like a like almost like a bowling type t-shirt on, open with no shirt underneath. I spent the whole time, every time they put promotional pictures out, <laughs> coloring in his chest. <laughs> okay, next up is Shogo. I've, so this is Shogo's lightning. Uh, uh, also, Yamashou's real name is Shogo. So there's two Shogos in uh, the rampage, but Shog uh, Yamashu's last name is Yamamoto, so Yamashu. Anyways, I stand Shogo and Kaize. The Shogos and Kaize. <laughs> and Kazuma, but Kazuma's a vocal, and he's already popular enough. And then, oh my goodness, this is a card. Okay, so there are a few rare jacket card sets. Uh, Dirty Disco is one of them. I have never seen any Dirty Disco uh, jacket cards listed. Pro it's like, I don't think they need this much, like, I don't think it needs this much packaging when it's already in the sleeve. Like, do you know how annoying that is? Anyways, I got <gasps> Shiloko's Frontiers. Oh my goodness. This is like, along with Dirty Disco Frontiers is a set that's pretty expensive as well. Um, Fandango seems to be one too, because I don't see any of them listed. Uh, Yamashu is the only one I've seen listed yet, and I had to grab it. But Frontiers is pretty expensive too for some reason. Um, I'm so glad I got Shogos. It was a bit more expensive, but not as expensive as Yamashu Fandango. But I really like Shogo. So yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the last Shogo. The last struggle card. Oh my goodness. The last struggle card and the last card in this package is a card that takes forever to open. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, it's a uh, struggle's 100 degrees. The 100 degrees um, theme for some people, they had like drawn on tattoos, and Shogo's one of those people. <laughs> Jack of cards, he has like, that's his hair. This is also when he, they cut his hair and dyed it blonde. Well, in Dirty Disco, he had like a mop of black hair and then they buzz cut it and then they dyed it blonde, which suit him very well. <laughs> so like I said, this haul was mostly J-pop with a smidgen of toys. So yeah, um, if you have watched until the end, I am extremely grateful and I've missed doing unboxings and stuff. Um, I hope I have two more um, two more Japanese proxy site hauls coming in. I've got a small one from from Japan, which are my hard hit CDs, and I've got another s haul about this the same size from a Japonical Market. So I will be unboxing those as well. Um, I'm not 100% sh sure when I will be getting them, which is why um, I was gonna do an unboxing of all three of them at the same time, but then I realized I have no patience. And when I get things in the mail, I want to open them and place them in my binders right away. So that's why I will be doing them separately. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I don't think you will have any questions because these are people y'all don't know. So yeah, I I'm, I'm hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time.